Okay, let me explain what's happening here right now. So, my Giglio has not gone away. Uh, my Giglio has just been sitting on my desk or on my counter. It's just, it's there for me to update as I need to update it. <clears throat> I happened to just be writing stuff in it this morning and I was like, oh gosh, I really miss writing in this planner and taking it with me everywhere and... I dismantled the passport, you guys. You're going to think I'm crazy, I know. But I think you guys are all used to me by now at this point. So, yeah. I'm setting this to the side. I do have a flip a couple of days ago of this. And I think it has nearly 9,000 views. So, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the comments and you guys watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, but, yeah. I'm setting this one to the side for now. And we are fully moved back into this bad boy and I'm just going to do a little flip through. Okay, so as you can see, it does snap shut and this does have Franklin Covey inserts in it. They are the Franklin Covey Compact and this is the Giglio Campania XL. And yeah, it's stuffed. I even moved a bunch of my travel notebook stuff over and stuff, but you'll see that in just a second. So while it does snap, I don't typically leave it snapped shut because I just, I don't know, I feel like it puts a lot of pressure on the snap. So let's just unsnap it. Hopefully you guys can actually see the patina and the markings on this. I don't typically keep it in a pouch. I do have a pouch from Christina Loves Planning, uh, but for the most part, as long as it's not a hectic, crazy day, I will just set it in my bag and not worry too much about anything getting on it. I don't put water in my bag, anything that would be liquid, like... Um, lip glosses, hand sanitizers, that lotion, those type of things I keep in separate pouches, so I don't worry about that. And I also do not keep a pen in the pen loop because I fear a pen exploding and <laughs> I do not want that to happen. I've seen it happen in this planner community before and I don't want it to happen to my planner. So let's get to the beginning of this. It is chunky. So when I do get to the beginning of the planner, obviously you can see that there is a lot. The fly leaf is much smaller than my inserts because these are Franklin Covey. I loved this little fragile thing that I had on the front of my passport yesterday. <laughs> so um, I removed it and just clipped it on. Well, not clipped it on. It's a little, it's a little hook, and then you just use pliers to undo it. My zipper pocket here has a few little sheets of stickers, and then this is all the same random stuff that I've had in multiple planners. Like I just kind of move it from planner to planner, whatever planner I feel like being in. And then in this front pocket, I just have this little journaling card, my contact info card, and then these are from Journaling Home, Make a List, Memory Keeping, and Daydreaming. They're just like little ideas uh, that you can do. And then this was something I had already shared before. These are just like some things I saw on a TikTok and decided to write those down because they just kind of resonated with me. Back here, I just have a couple of little things, invoice things, and then we move into this. I also put that other superior charm, the one that I have on here. I know, it doesn't really go with a Julio, but I like it, so I put it on there. I finally delinted this thing. This <laughs> this suede piece of suede just gets so much lint on it. This is my inbox. I went ahead and I removed a bunch of stuff that was 2023 that just wasn't relevant anymore. I didn't need to keep it in here, but this is where I'll do monthly reflections. So I already have a sticky note. This is from Journaling Home as well. So it just gives you some prompts like what went well in the month, what did not go well in the month, and I would write them over here. I did that last year. This is um, year-end planner review. I just have it still in here because why not? It's two pages. An inbox insert. This is from Paper Tess. I just have that in there and I can write things down and then mark them off as I complete them. I have a to buy list, a waiting on list. So if I have a package or anything that I'm waiting on, it'll go here. My to buy list. If there's something that pops into my head, like I need to pick up dog food, etc., I will put that there. And then I do have a few of these, which I've shared. These are the same. I've shared them in my other planners too, just like Planner hashtags you can look up, task reminders, address, things that you need to change your address on if you ever need to. Packing guides. Sorry about the tripod though, guys. I'm trying every single time I like touch my planner, it's going to move. Uh, then this is just some miscellaneous things that I want to keep track of at home. And this is an SM plans insert. I don't remember the exact name, but I like it. 
Then these, by the way, are Latua notes, and I've shared it before, the little dashboards that I made and I laminated. So you can like just stick sticky notes on it, or you can write with a, what I was saying, you can use a wet erase marker on those if you want to as well. I haven't really swapped out too many pictures, especially my bigger ones. I print these at uh, Walgreens, so I just like send them online and print them. But I did find my Canon selfie that I bought years and years ago. And as soon as I can get that thing up and running, I have to buy ink for it though. So I'm just like, eh. I think it'd be cheaper for me just to print some pictures at Walmart or Walgreens, wherever, not Walmart. So this is my finance section. I'll skip over. I just have a bill tracker, checkbook register, and some notes pages where I will balance things or write down expenses. Put some more little pictures. These are all the same though. These ones are not different. And then we get into my monthly. These covers I've had for a really long time. I actually had these in personal size, blew them up to be Franklin Covey size. They are the ones from SM Plans. I don't remember which of her seasons or whatever they were. I have my little memorial for my little Walter boy. Um, then we get into, this is a Peanuts Planner Co. It is an undated insert and I just use that for birthdays, anniversaries. And then this is Plan with B, I believe. I think so. It's a freebie. This one is my minimal. No, nope. what is this one? This is Hey Planner Girl. And then I have the yearly log. Again, none of this is really filled in because it's all brand new for January. And I was playing with my passport. So I will slowly like fill this in. So this is the yearly dated bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. And I have all three of them in there. I typically use this insert for my husband's schedule. This insert to kind of note whether or not our kids have missed any school or anything that was coming up. Um, they also each have one of those in their individual sections. So this is just like my reference. And then I have one that they just keep in their sections. And then this is my minimal planner highlights for the month. So I have the whole year there. And then we get into my monthly, which is not filled in right now. Let me just take those off. It's not filled in right now. This is just the freebie also from Peanuts Planner Co. And I love this insert because I feel like the box size is big enough and it also gives you adequate amount of space on the sides if there's anything you need to write down. My tabs, I just use stickers from someone. I don't know who. And I stuck those on like little post-it note stickies. So that is my monthly. And then I still, like I said, have some of the same similar pictures in here. This was a card that my vet office sent when Walter passed away. This is our trip to see Taylor. And then we get into my dailies. So all these receipts, I need to enter them into Fetch. I will link Fetch below. I have been using that website. It'll be two years next month. And I have received nearly $2,000 in Amazon gift cards from a, referring it, and B, scanning my own receipts. So I, I hate when I have a big bulk of receipts to scan at the same time, but absolutely love that app. It's simple. Scan your receipts and you're good to go. But I will link it if you want to use my code and then you want to refer your own friends, etc. But this is the insert I was using for the whole month of November, December. This is Marcia Bermucci, day on two page, journaling. I don't know what it's called exactly, but this is like the journaling one. And I would put my pictures over here for my Canon Ivy. And then I would just journal about our day, make my running to-do list. And then anything time-related obviously goes on the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have two months at a time in here. So I have all of January, all of February. The only reason I didn't want to do one month at a, one month at a time is because it's so sad to take out your used pages. It's so satisfying to flip through them, look at your pictures, etc. So... I opted to put two months at a time and we'll just see where it goes. So this is my little planner section. Violet is standing behind me like a little creeper. Um, this is my little section that I like to flip through. It has pictures in it and I love looking at those. This is my ins and outs of 2024. And yeah, and then this was just a couple of things that I loved. And then my weeklies, which... You know, I'm going to back plan all of this stuff, you guys. I'm just going to take what I had written in my passport. But um, my weeklies are also Marcia Bermucci. This is my Sunday reset. I found this on Canva. 
somewhere and I just printed it and put it in here uh, and I like that so it's kind of yeah whatever my cleaning schedule these are just my extra sheets these are from Annalita designs I always say it wrong I say it wrong every time Annalita 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 designs I will link her shop below this comes in a pack of like 20 inserts so you can pick and choose what you want your cleaning schedule and whatnot to be I am not the type of person who does zone cleaning. I am the type that attempts to clean the entire damn house at the same time every day. So if I'm going from one room to the next room to the next room, I am picking up as I'm going. I do not say, oh, I'm going to do my kitchen on Monday and my bedroom on Friday. Like I need to just kind of whisk through everything and then do deeper cleaning more of like once a week, like on a Sunday reset type thing. And if I don't feel like leaving it all to Sunday, I know that I need to designate more deeper cleaning throughout the week. So these are the only thing in my planner that have a slit. And it's so that I didn't have to open my planner every week to put a new one in between my weeks like this. So let's see. This is the week we're on. And I am going, like I said, to back plan. So <clears throat> I have my cleaning schedule in here. That way I can just move it. And then I will use this for the following week. Uh, so it's two weeks per page. So I have January through March in here for weeklies. That's how she has them bundled when you print the insert. And so yeah, three months is not, it's not overly bad. It's not taking up a lot of space. And now we're going to get into my personal section. So for my personal section, so I just have like sticky notes stuck on the back of there. Um, I think this was from Journaling Home, this picture. But I have some vellum. These are the Tua Note vellums. They're so pretty. I need to put my steps onto my tracker. My goal is to have over 10,000 steps a day. I pretty much master that every day. So monthly habits. Let's talk about monthly habits. I can quit alcohol. <laughs> I can quit wine. Soda is my enemy. Soda. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink tea. I don't have anything else in my life that has caffeine. I don't drink anything else that's flavored, but I love Coca-Cola. It is my weakness. So my goal is to cut back on the amount of soda that I'm drinking. So, you know, like a 20 ounce Coke. I can make that last the whole day, but I don't need a 20 ounce Coke every single dang day. So I need to cut it back. I need to just stick to drinking bubbly um water I do have my cup that I drink out of so that's the plan for that stay tuned to see how it goes and then I printed this bucket list as well again Annalita designs this is a bucket list this I'm using for health goals the sleep tracker is part of her bundle the period tracker is part of her bundle and so this is her self-care bundle and then the other was her cleaning bundle so these are printed in personal size because I've owned them forever and I wasn't going to go buy them in the next size. So I just printed them in personal size. So I have some personal, some Franklin Covey, and it just works. I did also print her gratitude inserts. So I have those back here. And I have quite a few pages. I'm getting really, really ahead of myself there. But it's fine. Then I get into this tracker. This tracker is from Hey Planner Girl. And this one is from Peanuts Planner Co. So this is where I track what workouts I'm doing, which I need to document yesterday's workout, and then I need to still work out today. And then my steps are all going to go on this. As far as the inside goes, I wrote cycle, but then I was like, uh, no, because I need, <laughs> I need an insert where I can actually track my cycle day by day. So that's that. Then, oopsie, what is going on? Uh, then my self-care, and it's back and forth because this is a bigger size. Uh, and then hydrate. I have diverticulosis, so I track, you know, things. Uh, these are old inserts, and then this is like all medical stuff that I track as well. So these are all my inserts. I take notes on everything to do with my health. I have a few extra inserts in here. These are Peanuts Planner Co. And then my kids section, which I'm going to skip over, they too, I track anything medical related with them and they have their trackers uh, for school, missing school, sick, medicines, those type of things. So that is that. And then we get into my pets. 
I cannot bring myself to remove Walter and I'm not going to. So I just track their medications. And for those who were asking me, he died of heart failure. He was only two years old. He is he was the love of my life, and it was very, very shocking, um, very unexpected. So this is Otto's and Corbin's and Frankie's. Oh, that's Frankie. I think Corbin's back here. Corbin, Frankie, and then I need to put one in here for my little Archie boo. We did adopt a kitten, and oh, I guess I already wrote one in here. So this is Archie's. And he is the most precious, loving little thing. I'm so glad that we adopted him. And yeah, so that's that. And then we get into my notes. Okay, so Violet went to get the kitty because she's saying that you guys need to see the kitty. I don't know how that's going to work on here, but we'll figure it out. So my note section is a composition book. I cut it down. So I have the hardcover. And then I have a bunch of like, I have some recipes, 52 week organization, planner hashtags. I already have that in my planner in the front. So I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't need it twice. Uh, meal ideas, uh, true crime. These are true crime missing cases that I will check back in on, see if there's any updates, things like that. And then, yeah, just recipes, recipes, packing list. Uh, this is just my house broken down into sections on these little papers that are not coming apart for some reason. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that. It's just notes. And then in the back, I just have more pictures of Walter, the back side of that. <laughs> you want to show them Archie? And this is Archie Boo. <laughs> that's how I can show him. You want to say hi to the camera? He's like, I'm done with this. Okay, go to Violet. Uh, so yeah, so that is my planner setup. I don't think I've gone this in depth in my <laughs> planner in a little while, but I'm looking forward to updating you guys on my daily pages and how I journal in them and how I add my pictures and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I do have a lot of videos, so feel free to browse any of them, any of them, any of them if you would like. Uh, I did put my little stencil in here in case I wanted to use it. I have a bunch of business cards sticky notes with the rounded corners because you guys know I like those and I just stick them in there in case I need one and then I have a few more like little stickers these all I had all of these in my passport so I wanted to carry them over here because I want to use them and then in the back of my planner trying not to shake my tripod I just have like school schedule spelling list a picture of Remy drew me a couple pictures from Violet as well so there it is. Okay, guys, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I would love if you guys could share, like, subscribe, all the things. Um, I really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the comments. Okay, bye.